Welcome to my channel. I'm Zamir from Accessit Tunes. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to configure Stutter Edit 2 in Cubase. And if you're new here, please make sure to subscribe to my channel, turn on notification, and share this video to all your friends and smash that like button as well. All right? So, without further ado, let's get started. I've already fired up my Cubase and I have three tracks here. One is the instrument track and the other one is the drums and vocal audio tracks. So I'm going to uh, use Stutter Edit 2 in all three of these tracks. Okay, So we can use Stutter Edit even for instrument tracks and also for audio tracks. So I'm going to uh, go to audio insert and okay, I've already insert the stutter edit 2 here when you launch this plugin you'll get a bunch of presets here so this is all the presets that you get within this plugin itself it's a factory uh, preset and you can also save your own preset if you want so if you go and click on this folder here you will have this factory banks and user banks so factory banks is the one that the preset that comes with the plugin when you click on this uh, folder here you get this MIDI uh, the piano roll kind of thing and you can see all those presets being attached to these notes so C1 will trigger this BT Gator Human League preset and so on okay and if you want to uh, delete one of these um, preset you can just select them like this and you can uh, clear or if you want to clear all, you can just hit clear here and it will reset everything. And then you can go on and, you know, add all of your, um, the preset that you want like this. You can just drag and drop it here. Okay, so I don't know how it's going to sound, but let's just mess around with it. Okay, now you see, this is C2 note, right? So when you press C2 um, and when the audio is playing, it's going to trigger that particular preset. Since we already have the preset that we want for this track, and you have to add MIDI track to uh, trigger the preset when you press on this MIDI controller. So first you have to create a new MIDI track. So I'm going to click on this um, plus button here and go to MIDI track. And I'm going to select three MIDI tracks because we have three uh, tracks here, one instrument and two audio tracks. I'm going to name this Stutter Edit Facts. Okay. Okay, now I've got three Stutter Edit FX channel, MIDI channels. Okay, now from here, you have to go to this MIDI track and click on this uh, output routing and select drums so when you click on drums whatever you uh, play here it will trigger the drums stutter edit plugin okay so we have c2 up to d uh, d sharp 2 yep i don't know how it's gonna sound let's just hear it okay this is without any effects on it If you like that sound effects you can use it or if you don't want you can go ahead and change the preset here you know you can just look for other preset and find one that you like and you can just pretty much just play around and experiment with the kind of sound that you that you're looking for okay okay that's for the drums now let's go for vocals I'm gonna insert the stutter edit plugin here okay and I don't want to change anything go to stutter edit FX2 channel and change the output routing vocals okay and now let's hear the vocal okay now I'm gonna play this track
Let's loop this. Sounds cool, right? Okay, now I'm going to show you how to use the stutter edit on an instrument track. The process is the same. Yeah, I've loaded up Massive Axe here. Let's find some preset here. Let's record that. Um... Now you have this instrument track. I'm going to go to audio insert and go to stutter edit. Okay. And I'm going to change the output of this MIDI track to Massive X. Now I can use my MIDI controller to create more awesome effects. That's dope, man. You can pretty much use this plugin for any kind of music, for trap beats, R&B, or even for film music, sound design, um, trailer music. This is an amazing plugin. I really enjoyed uh, playing around with it. I can create multiple different sounds. This is one of the best plugins that I have ever used uh, for my music production. Okay, guys and girls, so that's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and find value in this video. If you guys did, please make sure to subscribe uh, and uh, share this video to all your friends. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.